Hey guys, it's this is your YouTube channel and today I'm going to tell you what should you do when your iPhone shuts down unexpectedly. So a few days back when my iPhone actually sh had shut down, I was actually thinking what should I do to avoid this shutdown and even keep the battery percentage where it is. Currently it's 77 and over the past months from March uh, 2020 it's still 77. So what should you do like after your first shutdown? Either you replace your battery or buy a new phone. And if you do not want to or waiting for upcoming phones or the or you can or you know that you you can still use your phone because you don't need one. Keep the battery management protection on enabled to avoid shutdowns like to prevent your shut, uh, iPhone being shut down do not disable it now I disabled it out of curiosity then I visited Apple's website it told that um, if it shuts down again then it will be again implemented and then you can again disable if you want I, I, I will keep it on always then the second step you should always do is always keep your phone charged to a minimum 45% your phone's charge battery percentage should not go down beyond 45% because the lower your power the lesser the battery your phone can give so always keep your phone charge to a minimum 45% do not use heavy CPU applications and battery usage applications like PUBG, Benchmark and all other applications which actually heat your phone. Like keep the brightness dim so that you can still get some more hours of usage. But do not stress your eyes. I am all I am telling is keep a brightness dim uh, than usual so that your phone gives you a better uh, usage time and please do not uh, stress your eyes do not keep it down to 0% if you are using at 50% then keep it at 40% and that's all I need. the next thing you should do is switch off your battery and bluetooth whenever you are not using it whenever you are not using it switch off your bluetooth and wifi the next thing you should do is Switch off your GPS location and background app refresh. What the app background app refresh does is actually it refreshes the content uh, of the apps every now and then with the help of your Wi-Fi or mobile data, which one of you have chosen by default. And it takes a bit of a battery and I switched it off and since then it's alright, there is no more network usage also the next thing you must do is restart your phone frequently. now always use your phone in low power mode like after your phone is down with your 90% battery like your 90% battery in sense of it has gone down from 100 to 90 use low power mode so that your there is no background apps running and your phone is still giving you higher time of usage. Now the next thing you should do is reduce motion and reduce transparency to reduce your GPU usage so that it makes the app switcher and control center look a bit worse but it will save your battery and even the GPU usage. See. You should always uh, always um, reduce the motion and transparency because it is actually an animation to make your viewing perspectives much better. And if you re uh, if you switch it off also, it won't make any difference to your control center and app switcher. It will just make the animations go to unlimited time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.